dear children let us move to the fourth session of unit 11 that is alcohols phenols and the uh, ethers in this session you are going to study the reactions involving cleavage of carbon oxygen bond in alcohols now in the last class we have studied about the reactions involving the cleavage of oh bond in alcohols so let us consider the second class of reactions today that is reactions involving cleavage of carbon oxygen bond the first class of reaction that we have to study here is reaction with hydrogen halides alcohols react with hydrogen halides to form alkyl halides and water alkyl halides are usually present as white turbidity or they form a white turbid solution or white precipitate now these two compounds they are colorless and when they are mixed alkyl halide that is obtained in uh, white color or white precipitate there is difference in the reactivity of primary secondary and the tertiary alcohols towards hydrogen halides and this difference in reactivity is used to distinguish between primary secondary and tertiary alcohols and this test that is known as lucas test now in lucas test we are usually using hcl hydrogen chloride solution or hydrogen chloride gas primary alcohols react with hydrogen chloride concentrated hcl or hcl gas in the presence of anhydrous zinc chloride as catalyst to form corresponding alkyl chloride but usually this precipitate does not form in uh, at room temperature so only on warming the solution the white precipitate of ethyl chloride is obtained when ethyl alcohol that is the primary alcohol is made to react with hcl in the case of secondary alcohol propane to all when it is treated with hcl gas in the presence of an hydrous zinc chloride it will be converted to 2 chloropropane so usually hcl is used to uh, is used as a reagent here now hcl and an hydrous zinc chloride that is known as lucas reagent so 2 chloropropane will be obtained as the white turbidity or white precipitate and that will be obtained within 5 minutes in the case of tertiary alcohols even in the absence of anhydrous zinc chloride tertiary alcohols react with hcl or hydrochloric acid solution to be white precipitate immediately for example 2 methyl propane to all on reacting with hcl in the presence of anhydrous zinc chloride will be given 2 chloro 2 methyl propane and the precipitate will be formed immediately so primary alcohols only on warming white turbidity will be obtained secondary alcohols react with lucas reagent and turbidity will be obtained within 5 uh, minutes whereas tertiary alcohols give the white turbidity immediately even in the absence of anhydrous zinc chloride as catalyst therefore we can say that order of reactivity of alcohols towards lucas reagent is tertiary greater than secondary greater than primary so why tertiary alcohols react with hcl at a faster rate because we are studying the class of reactions in which carbon oxygen bond is cleaved now when this bond is cleaved a carbocation is formed a tertiary carbocation is formed in the case of tertiary alcohols now you know that tertiary carbocation is more stable than secondary or primary carbocation therefore the reaction occurs at a faster rate and turbidity occurs or appears immediately secondary alcohols produce a turbidity only within 5 minutes whereas primary alcohols the least reactive one will be giving the turbidity only on warming the solution second class of reaction that we have to study here is reaction with phosphorus trihalide alcohols react with phosphorus trichloride to give alkyl chloride plus h3po3 similarly in the case of phosphorus pentachloride also alcohols can react to give alkyl chloride then you will be getting other by products as the components class of reaction that you have to study is a dehydration ethanol or alcohols 
on heating with sulfuric acid or other protic acids at a high temperature liberates one molecule of water and forms alkenes and this reaction that is known as dehydration so all it's from the alpha carbon atom and it's from the beta carbon atom will be eliminated as water and final product obtained will be alkene for example in the case of ethyl alcohol when it is uh, heated with concentrated sulfuric acid at 443 kelvin h and o is will be eliminated from the molecule and finally will be getting ethene as the product when you come to secondary alcohol that is propane to all the conditions become milder 85% h3po4 at 440 kelvin is needed to dehydrate propane to all so when propane to all is made to react with we can use 85% h3po4 at 440 kelvin propane will be obtained as the product whereas in the case of tertiary alcohol the condition becomes more mild 20% h3po4 at 358 kelvin is required so when tertiary alcohols is heated with acid dehydration occurs and 2 methyl propene is obtained as the alkene so the order of reactivity or order of dehydration of alcohols will be tertiary greater than secondary greater than primary in order to understand this order of reactivity towards the acid or order of dehydration of uh, these isomeric alcohols we have to study the mechanism mechanism of dehydration of alcohols now this mechanism involves three steps in the first step protonation of alcohol occurs alcohol molecule abstracts h plus because uh, the reaction is carried out in acidic medium h plus will be in the uh, medium and the h plus will be abstracted by ethyl alcohol and oxonium ion is formed so this is a fast step so first step that is the protonation of alcohol to form oxonium ion in the second step formation of a carbocation occurs now the ethyl oxonium ion undergoes cleavage because we are studying the breaking of carbon oxygen bond carbon oxygen bond undergoes cleavage then oh2 plus pair of electrons will be taken up by this oxygen atom and it will be leaving the side as or it will be removed as h2o a positive charge will be formed on this carbon atom and as a result a carbo cation is formed now this step is the slow step and the rate determining step and you know that always a tertiary carbo cation will be more stable than secondary or primary therefore this step decides the rate of the reaction now coming to the third step elimination of proton takes place from the uh, protonated compound and as a result an alkene is formed now you can see here a positive charge is there on this carbon atom one of the hydrogen atoms from the beta carbon atom will be leaving as h plus and the pair of electrons will be making a double bond between these two carbon atoms and finally will be getting ethene from this compound and hence h plus will be liberated in the third step this h plus will be again combining with another alcohol molecule again the first step is repeated second step and third step until the whole of the alcohol molecule is converted to alkene now fourth reaction that they have to study here is uh, oxidation oxidation of alcohol involves breaking of oh and ch bonds and also formation of a carbon oxygen double bond so this is a mechanism of uh, oxidation of alcohols consider this general equation primary alcohols on oxidation is converted to aldehyde which on further oxidation gives carboxylic acid 
Now you can see here primary alcohols on oxidation will be giving a carboxylic acid with the same number of carbon atoms. So OH bond and CH bond breaks and finally SC double bond uh, is found in the compound. Which are the commonly used oxidizing agents? Now the commonly used oxidizing agents are acidified alkaline or neutral KMnO4. Then chromium oxide in anhydrous medium, PCC or pyridinium chlorochromate, and that is a complex of chromium trioxide with pyridine and HCl. Acidified potassium dichromate and also dilute HNO3. Now PCC is mainly used to stop the reaction at the aldehydic level. So further oxidation will be prevented by PCC. Acidified KMnO4, acidified potassium dichromate, they are mainly used as strong oxidizing agent. If we want to stop the reaction at the aldehydic level, we can use PCC that is pyridinium chlorochromate as the oxidizing agent. Example, propan one or on reacting with PCC or in the presence of in the presence of the oxidizing agent PCC it will be converted to propanol. Further oxidation of propanol to acid propanoic acid is prevented. So that was the case with primary alcohols. In the case of secondary alcohols, oxidizing agents are mainly used like acidified potassium dichromate or anhydrous chromic oxide. Secondary alcohols on oxidation gives ketones and ketones on further oxidation will be giving compounds containing lesser number of carbon atoms or carboxylic acid containing lesser number of carbon atoms. Now usually in the case of ketone it is not very easy as in the case of primary alcohol because the secondary alcohols on oxidation will be giving ketones. Ketones on again further oxidation with strong oxidizing agents only it will be converted to carboxylic acid with the lesser number of carbon atoms. Tertiary alcohols on oxidation will be giving first uh, ketones and also um, forming acid that means carboxylic acid. Usually tertiary alcohols are not easily oxidized. Only under drastic conditions at elevated temperatures, carbon-carbon bone breaks and as a result you will be getting mixture of compounds, mixture of organic compounds and also acids are formed. Further oxidation will be giving acids with lesser number of carbon atoms. Another uh, important reaction that is known as dehydrogenation reaction. In the case of dehydrogenation, that is another term used for oxidation, removal of hydrogen. Primary alcohols, when they are heated in the presence of copper at 573 Kelvin, it will be converted to aldehydes. So primary alcohols on oxidation or dehydrogenation gives aldehydes. When vapors of primary alcohols are passed over hot copper at 573 Kelvin, you will be getting aldehydes as the product. When vapors of ethyl alcohol are passed over hot copper at 573 Kelvin, it will be converted to ethanol or acetaldehyde. Secondary alcohols on heating in the presence of copper at 573 Kelvin gives ketones as the product. For example, propan 2 all, propan 2 all on reacting with the copper at 573 Kelvin will be giving propanone as the product. Tertiary alcohols when they are heated with copper at 573 Kelvin, alkenes will be obtained as the product. That means dehydration occurs. One molecule of water is eliminated. In the case of tertiary butyl alcohol, any of the hydrogen atom from the CH3 group combines with this OH group. As a result, one molecule of water is eliminated. And hence, tertiary alcohols undergo dehydration on heating with copper at 573 Kelvin. 
and finally you will be getting to methylpropene as the product. Hope you have understood all these reactions. Thank you.